or what uh, uh, this Ukraine-Russia crisis has stirred up in the whole world. Was it that people were not expecting it, or they, know, they were not expecting it to get to this level, or what were they thinking at this particular moment? Because like every other country is complaining, for one thing or the other. Okay. This crisis has made people to know that no weed was even coming from this way. You know, some people just consume things they don't know. They know we import. They don't know where we import from. How petrol goes. How this goes. But like this crisis has probably it, it had its place. Should we say this? Like the crisis, boy, it's never good. But probably this crisis had its place because a lot of things have come up to the limelight. Uh, thank you very much, my daughter. And as usual, I'm not going to stop, stay at the level of president because mm -hmm. you don't understand anything when you look at it that way. Uh, let us understand that the so-called COVID pandemic was actually something which had the aim of bringing in the new world order, that is having control of mankind, that's the first reason. The second reason, lower, de decreasing the world population. The third reason, stifling human rise in consciousness, sometimes in certain circles like rise in vibration, because we are evolving. Mm -hmm. Edgar Mutua a South African shaman, spiritual leader, who died recently, revealed that his father told him that it was a deliberate policy by the West, whenever they vaccinated people in Africa, to inject them with substances which decreased their psychic abilities. Now, this is something which we had in Africa for a long time, and we've been indoctrinated and brainwashed to think it is primitive. If you give an example, when uh, Saddam Hussein was hiding and the Americans were looking for him. There were satellites, there were all those things. Do you know how they found Saddam Hussein? They used something they called in their CIA remote viewing. Go to Google and type remote viewing and see what comes up. It's a technique which uses psychic methods to see at a distance something which is, and that is something which we had well developed here in Africa and we've been, we've been uh, take, talked out of it either by using religion or using some education and so on. Now, so, the COVID pandemic. You know, it's, it's actually negatively uh, like witchcraft or something. They, they don't want to call right, it that way. Right. <laughs> Meanwhile, it is something. Um, but fortunately, like my brother just said, Africa is made of the chosen people. We should understand Africans. It's all about you. And no one will decide for you. You have to wake up, take your power, and understand you're sovereign beings with a free will. And also know that. The original race in the world was the black race. We have proofs of uh, remnants of people from all over the world dating up to 100,000 years ago. And it proves that originally, everywhere in the world, including China, India, America, South America, the original inhabitants were black. So, because of lack of love amongst us and between us, that is the main reason. We do not want to, don't have great concern for our brother. Because of that, we've been exterminated almost everywhere else, except Africa. But it's never too late. We can catch the train and go forward. Uh, the issue of Ukraine. Now, if we go to the level of intelligence services, we have had several incidents which have indicated that there was a plan a deliberate plan to lower the world population. Look at the Georgia Guidestones, which have been destroyed recently. It was clearly marked on it that the world population should be brought down to 500 million. I understand recently they've revised their figure to 1 billion, meaning they have to kill the rest. And any method is, is, uh, is suitable. This, the, the, the latest development on the COVID issue is that they were made from synthetically produced uh, snake and spider worm venom. That is why you find all the so-called new variants making people to collapse. Uh, that's a, I will someday if you make a program on that, I'll come and give the details. Now, uh, so to, to show how inside all this confusion there are people who are studying for humanity, mm -hmm. there was a, a ship several months ago which left Europe carrying BMW cars, which was discovered with, by collaboration between the various intelligence services to contain a nuclear bomb. And this ship was uh, completely um, frozen by a satellite weapon, sending a microwave which melted the engine and was left standing stranded in the uh, Atlantic Ocean. The aim was to have it explode when America and accuse Russia in order to jumpstart a global war. But 
the various intelligence services collaborated to make it come to an end. So the world is not the different camps you think. Even inside the Russian camp or inside the British camp, you have certain elements of MI5, CI5, MI6, who are actually for humanity and who are going against the uh, cabal directed uh, uh, leaders of what they are, they are doing. Another is, instance was when a plane, and this time in a, in a radio program here, on the, on the, here in the capital, I mentioned the flight number where the plane had to refuel in Spain before landing in Ukraine. And the CIA, the elements who are good inside the CIA, sent information to FSB, the Russian Secret Service, warning them of what might happen if that thing reaches Ukraine. Now, it is, it is, uh, the, what is going on in Ukraine has nothing to do with Russian invasion or Russian expansionism. We know very well that Russia has no expansionist idea. They have never colonized people, they have never not enslaved people, they have not done all of those things. But what is happening in Russia is that the last stronghold of the Nazis was in Ukraine. That is why Putin said we had to denazify the, uh, the Ukraine. In Ukraine, you had biological weapon factories. The, the uh, laptop of the son of Biden, which was found recently, the exploitation of that has revealed lots of information. There were birds which were made in Ukraine, uh, migratory birds which were bred in order to carry certain viruses and spread all over the world. And that has been discovered and dismantled by Putin. I'm very happy that the vibration of the world is happening, is rising. Why? Because all the media, they even cut film, uh, clips out of films talking about war and say that it is Putin who is decreeing people in Ukraine in order to bring people to rise up against Russia. But when they voted recently in the United Nations, what happened? Even the majority of African countries were for Russia. That means that they are not following, they are no longer following what they see. They started following their heart. I ask Africans, don't analyze news intellectually, because the, the thing is too complex for your intellect. But use, use your spirit, which the Almighty gave you. It, that's the only thing in you, the only part of you, which can never be deceived, because that part is instructed and uh, taught by the Almighty directly. So don't try to understand the news. Feel in you whether this thing is true or not. Now, uh, uh, presently, in the, under the present situation, there are many other factors which are coming, which the world is not being told. And we're acting as birds who've been in a cage for such a long time that even after the, the doors are wide open, nobody wants to leave. Look at Africans trying to acquire Western technology, when in the West they are soon going to abandon what is now currently going on. Paramahansi Tiwari is an, a, 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 an Indian engineer who several years ago produced a, an over-unity generator. For those who are not technically minded, it means a generator which can produce electricity without any fuel. And he succeeded in making a patent. This is something which has been done by Nikola Tesla since 1902. And since 1902, they've systematically killed all the people who tried to do that. Fortunately, Piramansi Tiwari manipulated and got the patent before people knew what he could do, and so they can't kill him anymore. And who are those who went to India to spread money around to prevent that project from rising off the ground? America, Saudi Arabia. Why? Because the petroleum industry, headed by Rockefeller, a member of the cabal, is worth $700 trillion. Now, Africa, at the, at the verge of free energy, now things are really moving. Because there are other things which are happening which are not telling people. But some of the things which you can check yourself, I'll tell you. Check out TR3B. It's a triangular frame craft. It is manufactured by Northam Grodman Corporation in America. You can find videos of it. You can find uh, it in different hangars. It's a, a craft which functions on anti-gravity. You've been taught in school that you cannot neutralize gravity. That is false. You've been taught in school that matter is made of atoms, which are like small um, uh, 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 solid substances <laughs> spinning around. That is also false. If there's time, we'll get to know why they are keeping that false hope. Because education the media and the religion are three very good tools of brainwashing and conditioning in order to bring people down into slavery. So to understand what is happening in Ukraine, look, recently in MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, they published that they found a way to make ground, uh, plants to glow, meaning that in a few years' time, street lights will no longer exist. We just have certain trees which will produce light at night. But what they forgot to tell people is that a certain confederation of intergalactic vessels came here and activated certain arches in the world, one of which is in Ukraine, which prompted Putin to invade. 
And inside those arches, they found glowing plants, which was a kind of gift to humanity. Somebody is now going to patent it, like they did patent many other things after the crash in Roswell in 1947, when a vessel from outside the earth crashed. You can check out Roswell. There's a book called The, the, book of the Day After Roswell. The, uh, um, the Canadian Minister of Defense, Paul Heller, made an open statement, but people don't listen. The, uh, the, uh, um, uh, this, uh, the Russian president, the, uh, um, I was in the beginning, the one who was, uh, uh, who was concurrent with when Putin could not be Gorbachev? president. No, 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 Gorbachev. Uh, Just continue, I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, okay, right. He openly said that when the Russian leader takes over power, he's given a briefcase which has the names, uh, the codes for to launch all the nuclear weapons, Medvedev, Dmitry Medvedev. He has the code to launch all the, uh, he had to launch all the nuclear weapons, and he also has the names of all those who are living with them in Russia who are from outside the earth. And they deliberately keep this information back. Because obviously, if you know that people are coming from outside the earth, you will know that they did not burn diesel or petrol to get from two or five thousand light years away to get to come here. Now, uh, 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 so we are now on the verge of this contact. There are so many things I can't tell you. I, I can't, uh, you see, you have to go step by step. Because if I go too fast, you might begin to think that maybe shake the head is not. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Very important. But there are certain things that are necessary for people to know, as you said. There are some of the things that people can check. Yes, and that yes. people it's always good for people to type when you see when you give the things type and check to make sure that you can read because you can give part and then they go and check and read more. Mm -hmm. And definitely we'll always have you back on the program. But if people want to really know what's happening in the world, why things are going the way they are going to where why things are going the way they are going and why it's affecting people in the different areas. Well in Ukraine should not affect people in in, in Cameroon, in Africa, people are asking why there's rising prices, why is they ah, change globally. Okay. People want to know uh, what now, is happening. Concerning the rising prices, the global elite, there, there is a certain under, underground bunkers have been found. If you put uh, on Google search underground cities, you're going to find more than 104 of them. In some of them, we had enough provision to provide food for a large part of the world population for more than 50 years. Wow, and uh, what was the aim? Cause famine and a food shortage worldwide. Then do what they did to the aborigines in Australia. If you want food, then you have to allow yourself, uh, uh, otherwise no food. So that way you get the whole population to, and then you have that automatically is well controlled. Because once you put nano robots inside the bodies, you can at a distance control and do what you, make you do what they want. Now that was one of, the, one of the reasons they had to bring a food crisis. They even killed nearly 22 million chicken birds in America in order to help rarify and when Bill Gates started getting into farming we had a food shortage. They managed to convince Indonesia who had enough supply of palm oil to, ex to cut exports. Indonesia and Malaysia export together 85 percent of palm oil in the world. Now if you've read the book Silent Weapons and Quiet Wars which is a book which was leaked from the Rothschild family, showing how you can destroy a nation just by manipulating economic tools. They can see how by shocking an economy on one particular product can lead to uh, economic fluctuation of pricing, which can bring down the entire economy. That's what they hoped to do with palm oil. But the good people fighting for humanity managed to calm down the situation, dump down the situation, and limit considerably the rate of inflation. The other inflation problem is that from 22nd February 2022, a decision was taken to change the world economy from the, into a quantum financial system. Because we have a system now which is based on fiat currency, meaning that America, like my brother said recently, how come America, which is the biggest debtor, is very powerful? Because when they want money, they don't go to borrow from anybody. They just do something they call quantitative easing. That is just a very big word to mean that they get paper and, a print, and ink and a printing press. And they print the thing Others out. Others are not allowed to do that. No, no, no. It's not, it's not only that. It, they, they, it, you see, how did they get to do it and get away with it? In the days of Nixon, the dollar was gold backed. Now, later on, the, the Americans, at, after the Bretton Woods Conference in, 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 in New York, they created a world situation. You have to understand that the global elite, well, again, as usual, I would not go to president because they have no say in the matter. The global elite understand that it has been proven in history 
that humans do not accept the hegemony of one culture for more than about 75 years. So when Britain dominated for about that period, they changed to America. Mm -hmm. Now the decision had been taken to change from America to China. That is why they fast tracked the industrial development of China. But that particular thing happened just at a time when the world was waking up. And so they are, we can now see through the ploy. And they have to, uh, I don't want to, the, the, them to cut your video, so that's why I'm doing that, you know. And they, have to, they have to do this in order to bring down the rise in consciousness so that we can remain at the animal level and be kept as slaves. Now, unfortunately, it has not, never worked. So the Americans uh, now create a situation in the Bretton Woods, Woods arrangement where the new world currency will be the dollar, gold-backed, and every other currency is forbidden to back by gold. It is an article of the National uh, International Monetary Fund. The, the Prime Minister of, Indo of Malaysia tried to create a special arrangement with this currency, and he was reminded yes. that, that if you do that, and he actually they killed him politically. Yeah, it is forbidden to try, and, and that is why all those who tried it, like Gaddafi, also were killed. Oh, yeah. so. Now. So the, all currencies were to de define their value by conversion to the dollar. Only the dollar could be backed by gold. The aim was that America will give all powerful because no one is going to come and check whether the dollar they are printing has any gold backing. So that gave them a free hand to just print as they want. Once there is that public confidence that it is supposed to be like that, there is the money illusion, as economics, uh, economists say, it, and so people continue to use pieces of paper until the Vietnam and other things came and there was so much money in circulation, people started doubting. Is there really gold to back this? And there was also the fact that France realized that that decision was unjust, and so they always used the single article they had to sabotage it, that is to use their central bank to go to the Federal Reserve whenever they had dollars and convert the dollars to gold. So around the 1970s, they went, came with $3 billion. Uncle Sam, give us gold. Say there's no gold. They say how? How did you print this one if there is no gold? <laughs> so uh, from that moment on, uh, that system couldn't work anymore. They had to find a new system, and the new system was worked out by Andrew Kissinger, who incidentally is no longer with us. Anyone you see there is an avatar. Now, uh, uh, so Andrew Kissinger had the only other asset which they could use was the petroleum of the Arabs. Now. Uh, but the Arabs are not going to accept that you should use their petroleum to defend the dollar. Mm -hmm. So there is it's one not thing, their currency. There, yeah, there is one thing in, on earth which usually makes people to bend, and that is war. Yeah. When uh, you say, no, 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 the war is a little like uh, the, uh, the trick which some people who are not too pious in Africa do with their parents when they want to get married. Uh, the daughter wants to get married to that person, and the parents said, I was hoping my, for a minister to marry <laughs> my daughter and his spirit. So they started opposing them. They just bring in a child. And the parents bend immediately because uh, you, you can't uh, uh, you, you, can, you can't oppose. Them. So you see, war a war has that effect. So they, they created, manipulated a war, and it's very easy for them to do that. Just send some people to go and pretend to be one group and attack the other mm -hmm. with the clothes of the other. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy. Now, so they created a war between the Arabs and the and Israel, and they made sure that it was even. When the Arabs are going ahead, they will help Israel. When Israeli go ahead, they help the other one until they weaken themselves out of. Then the American president decided to make an open television announcement. We're going to help Israel with $2.1 billion. At the same time, they send secret agents to go and see the Arabs. Do you see what that, what that man is saying? No, no, no. You people can't allow, can't you? Allow, allow, allow. Do something. Say, well, what can we do? Very poor. No. You've got a weapon. That is petroleum. Make an embargo. They were afraid because, you see, you cut like that, America can just come and change all the weapons. So they decided first. They decided first to cut back the production of petroleum by five percent every month until America reverses the policy of supporting Israel. They quickly realized it wouldn't get anywhere because the strategic reserve is served several months, so that would not make anything. Then, around the 70s, the Saudi Arabia took, was courageous enough to stop exportation of petrol to America. The price rose immediately from three dollars a barrel to twelve dollars a barrel. Now there's something called money illusion. If you're being paid two hundred thousand francs CFA. And for some reason, the CFA is devalued by 50%. And at the same time, you've been given a raise of 100% so that the next time you'll be paid 400,000. The very first day you receive your salary, you'll be smiling. Yeah. Because you think that you have more money. Although in, in economic terms, that money has the same value, like the one you had last month. But people, they tend to look at the, the, the What you have at hand, yeah. So the Arabs saw that well, yesterday was $3, now it's $12. We are rich. Then, and the kids just said, no, this is just... 
the beginning. You can get much richer than that. All you have to do is sign two things. I will guarantee your regime. There will, there will be no toppling of your monarchy. We will make sure Israel does not attack you. And you can, we can use the reserve, the interest which we pay from the joint funds to develop your country's infrastructure to the same level as America. All you have to do is sign that from now on, all petroleum sales will be denominated in dollars, American dollars. The Arabs, they say, ah, they want to give us all that, give us all that. they don't even ask, want us to pay. Where do I sign? They sign. So now that created a demand for dollars. Because people now needed dollars to go and buy petroleum, which was the biggest community co commodity in the world. I told you, I said the total value is something like $700 trillion. From that moment on, all the Americans had to do was print. All they had to do was print and go and use. Now, until recently, people started waking up. Well, scholars of Islamic finance started explaining that this is what is called in Islam riba. That means usury. It's an unjust, unfair. So fairness in trade has to be on two levels. In terms of the commodities themselves and so on, but in terms of the exchange mechanism, it does not have to be in such a way that someone is a slave and works for a different value for a different person, while other person gets a different value. That is also considered unfair treatment. So that now started to boil, and many people were disgruntled. And when Bin Salma saw the opportunity, he started trying to negotiate with China to sell petroleum and, and uh, uh, be paid with Wang, the Chinese currency. But at the time, the cabal was still very strong. So the manipulator, suddenly they said he had killed a person in the Turkish Arabian embassy in Turkey. And there was also threat of some kind of uh, uh, United Nations sanction on him. Mm -hmm. the, poor, the poor young man had just bought a boat of five, what, $450 million to enjoy himself in the ocean. So that kind of project doesn't go well with the international sanctions. No, no, no. no, no. So uh, he realized that, no, these people for now are too strong. So he decided to make an about turn. And then they immediately forgot about all the issue about the uh, embassy in Turkey and so on. They forgot all about it. And it was life as usual. Until recently, now, when the whole world is waking up, he's now come back with this issue and he's arranging with China. So you see these whole things. You have noticed that from all so, so far, I've not mentioned any president. Because the presidents, like I said again, they have no... Afrique Media, le monde, c'est nous.